Hi, and welcome to this incredibly short concept bite for photochemistry, um, which is about the Frank Condon principle. The Frank Condon principle is something that we keep on coming across again and again and again in, in um, photochemistry because it matters to both absorption and excitation. It matters whenever we have um, an overlap integral that we have to consider. So it's really, really important concept. And the basis of it is all to do with the wave functions of the HOMO and the LUMO. And so here I've just got a schematic of two wave functions and I've shown on those vibrational transitions. Now, almost all uh, molecules start in the ground vibrational state. And the key factor of the Frank Condon principle is that excitation of a photon occurs considerably faster than um, vibrational motion within the molecule. So vibrational motion tends to happen on about the peak second time scale, whereas excitation tends to happen on the femt second time scale, so at least a thousand times faster. So it's essentially uh, seeing a molecule which is fixed in position as it does so. And because of that, the transition that we see, that we sketch on this diagram is a vertical transition. That vertical transition is essentially um, saying that the reaction coordinate of my molecules or the difference in shape between my ground and my excited state hasn't changed. So therefore, when we map this vertical transition, I'm able to map the probability of that function um, occurring as essentially the overlap integral between the different energy levels that are involved. So here I've got it going from the ground vibrational to the second excited vibrational level because that's where I have the best overlap integral. But I will have a very small overlap integral with the ground um, vibrational level of the LUMO, um, slightly bigger one to the first excited state, my biggest one to my second. And you can see the principle as I go up. And so this is essentially giving me this shape of my absorption spectra. The same thing happens in reverse for emission. It all depends upon, um, upon the shapes um, of my wave functions that I have. And even though a fluorescent lifetime might take uh, nanoseconds or a phosphorescent one might even take seconds, um, the actual process of when that photon is emitted, the actual process of when I go from the excited state to the ground state is incredibly quick. It's this same 10 to the minus 15. So it sits around there in the excited state, but the actual emission of a photon is over very, very quickly. And so it's the same principle as I relax down. This idea of this overlap integral between the ground and the excited state can be quite difficult to get your head around, but it's one of the most fundamental um, concepts in photochemistry because we base so much of what we do on the wave functions of the ground and the excited state. You'll be able to read more about uh, the Frank Condon principle in various textbooks, um, I'm sure, but I hope that this has um, given a uh, background to the principle.